He's a wonderful artist and a great friend. He is his greatest sculpture. I think his art is humor. The piece in the show tonight, Twin, which has the two animal figures on the base. If you remember it, it's in plaster. And it's all just about the balls. Um, it's kind of weird. It's, I mean, he shocks, he makes you uncomfortable sometimes, but at the same time, he puts it all together in such a way that it has grace and dignity, and I just, I just think it's becoming more and more elegant as time goes on. We had found that this thing underground that I put in a box, and I say, "No, this is your next sculpture." And here it is. And it's amazing to touch. I'd have to say the tongue really works the best for me. And I was with him when he went to the butcher outside of Casa Puccini in Luca and got the real calf's tongue. And then the rest is history. Now we have a 40-foot one. But My favorite note moment. Uh, December 1995. Freezing cold day in a dairy farm in Pennsylvania. Note in his Romeo Gigli overcoat, picking up fresh cow dung with a shovel and dropping it on etching plates to uh, make a print project called Le Coulet en Couleur. He just picks on something and he rolls with it. He just takes it to as far as he can. To me, the gallery of John Enzo and, and Angela is, looks great with these sculptures, you know, and like the tongue, I think, I've seen the tongue at Ropak, it didn't look as good, like this is like so monumental and fantastic, I think, you know, I really liked it.